Hi, I'm here to show you. That's very abrupt. Okay. Hello. Hi. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm here to show you what I've bought lately. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. So what you're in store for, you're gonna see some. Majority of it is thrifted, cause like, you know, I shop on eBay, Depop, Mercari, all good places to shop secondhand. And some, there are some actual stores that aren't secondhand on Depop. So that's what we're talking about here. Some of this is Goodwill, some of this is Depop, Mercari. And yeah, and some of it is the last, is stuff that I bought in like the last, last video when I was like talking about I need to be stopped. Yeah, I was buying stuff while doing that video. But anyways. Let's get started. So first we're gonna go over the Goodwill stuff as well as stuff that I am selling on Depop. So you can check it out because by the time this video comes up, it's gonna be out already. So yeah, so the first thing, well this isn't Goodwill. Well this was given to me because it couldn't fit them, the person. And it's men's shorts, but I'm just gonna say that they're like basketball shorts, but you can tell they're men's because of the crotch area. But he didn't want them because they didn't fit that one. They fit like girls basketball shorts do, you know? So we're selling, we're selling. I'm selling <laughs> these in white. Red and black. So if you want one of those, go check that out. The next thing is just like a plain black t-shirt. Yeah, it was in the kids section, but I'm gonna call it a baby tee because when it comes to like thrift stores, they just, whatever is small, whatever looks small enough to fit a child, they just immediately throw it in the kids section. So you gotta look in there sometimes. It may look a bit creepy, but it's matter because you're gonna find some good stuff if you wanna find a bunch of crop tops because those will be hard to find in the regular section for the women and stuff. Another thing I found, this was in the men's section of course because this is huge but i'm gonna sell it as like a dress because it looks really cute if i had the skills to sew i would take it in like in the back and have it like a bodycon dress and like mini so it doesn't go far down the thighs and then i would leave the sleeves big because you know that's like a cute look and then i would have the top big as well I have vision in my head and I just can't, I can't do it myself. So hopefully if somebody buys this, maybe you will be able to fill that vision unless you just want to keep it as a large stripe shirt. This is a Harbor Bay shirt. Another thing that I'm going to be selling are these pants, these like Y2K type pants because they like flare at the bottom and they're really cute. They seem like they would go with like a sweatsuit but I couldn't find it and it's from self oh self-esteem wow and it's really cute i would keep it for myself but i'm not funny because it's called self-esteem but i'm not that confident with the way my waist is with certain pants sometimes so i would keep it for myself but not really also because i don't really love gold but these are really cute so i'm gonna sell them on my depop another thing i'm selling is just a random t-shirt i like to just sell like random t-shirts i usually only sell them for like 10 bucks maybe depends but this is just a shirt that i got baseball boston world champions 2018 so if this is your team and you like it go ahead buy it the last thing i got from goodwill was this Skirt, this velvet velour whatever skirt <laughs> i was gonna originally keep this for myself but then i was sitting here like eh, i don't really like its length if anything i would like cut it to make it just a bit shorter because it comes quite far down the legs and it's a large and these it's from jean star or i don't know it's like very hard to read it but a lot of these tags are like super cool they look like early 2000s type tags the way that they are that wasn't the last thing. I don't know what I'm talking about last thing. Hold on. <laughs> the next thing I got were these True Religion jeans. They don't fit me, of course, but like the True Religion jeans. So I had to put them in the cart. <laughs> First, I didn't know what they were, but then I was like, oh, True Religion, I do know that. Then my cousin was with me and she was like, that's True Religion. You gotta put those, you gotta sell those. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> They're a size 31. The next item that I saw were these Juicy Couture sweatpants. Of course, not my size again. They're an extra large and they sell Sadly, are stained, bleached with bleach a little bit on them, but they're still amazing. And I've been seeing a lot of Juicy Couture on my Depop as well, so I figured that this was a chance. And the last Goodwill item was this bag that I saw, and I realized that Goodwill actually can be kind of expensive sometimes. This bag was ten dollars. I don't know how much I'm gonna sell it for, but you know I gotta make some type of profit. And I bet you this wasn't ten dollars anyways to begin with. So those were the Goodwill items. So now I'm gonna show you guys everything else that I got. So I'm gonna first talk about this Hello Kitty tin purse, okay? I'm giving you guys all the sneak peeks, all the insiders, all the whatever, because a lot of the stuff I see on Depop is like sold on like Mercari and eBay for a lot cheaper. Like, especially Trip NYC, you can find a lot of that on Poshmark for like $30 and under. But anyways, I was on Depop and somebody's selling like 10 of these, but like all for like $50. And I'm like, 
You want to know how much these cost on eBay? The most I saw was $25. And of course, the $25 one is the one that I want because it's red, black, and white. And it's really cute. And it's a circle purse. And it's a circle thin purse that has beads, of, you know, for this part, beads are right here. And it looks really cute. And I'm really contemplating buying it because I get an email every day from eBay talking about, hurry up, this is the last one. This is the last one. I'm like, stop. <laughs> because BTS is about to put out something right now and I'm saving up money to get that. Anyways, you can find these on eBay. This I got for maybe like 12 bucks and I think that's a freaking steal because right now a whole bunch of Sanrio on Depop right now is going for a whole bunch of money. So if you really want to find a good Sanrio stuff for cheap, go on eBay. Tons of stuff on there. The next thing I'm talking about is this lace top it looks really cute but the only problem is, is that i just don't know where i'm gonna be wearing it to i tried it on with like the plaid skirt that i got in like the last haul but there's a lot of space in between the top and the bottom i'm just like i don't know where i'm gonna go don't know where i'm gonna go this shirt i thought when i bought it that it was just gonna like you know just be like one thing like this it's very cute. My problem is the straps because like it's very hard to put the shirt on alone. You need somebody else. This shirt, super cute, you know. I'm gonna show you guys at the end like I always do what these things look like. So this, I feel like this, has, this gives off unit vibes. Like maybe it was, but who knows. It looks, it's great condition. It looks the same as the picture, not cheap. Elastic. I love, I'm loving like a whole bunch of like thin shirts and stuff like this. I may or may not sell this shirt only because I don't really love it, but who knows. Yeah, anyways, these shirts weren't expensive. But the only thing is that when AliExpress, if it comes like Depop, <laughs> if it comes from a different brand, different store, obviously they're gonna charge you shipping. So if you buy like two things from one store, maybe like $5 shipping, but if you buy another thing, cause you could all put it in, one, in the cart and just buy it all. But if you buy another thing and that's like $10 shipping, then you're gonna be paying $15 shipping. <laughs> these next things I'm gonna show you is stuff that I got from a Depop store. The seller is really nice. And they sell a bunch of cute stuff like this. This is what my mother calls a lingerie top. And it's, it is a lingerie top, but it's not a lingerie top, okay? I want to wear this top just, you know, like with maybe like a black bra underneath. Even though you can't see my nipples anyways. Because there's the pink thing there. And I'm surprised I even got this. Because once again, hot pink. But it's really cute. And then it ties in the back. Maybe even do a t-shirt underneath. Because, you know, you can make it work. And I ordered a black skirt. And that's coming tomorrow. And another thing is coming Wednesday. My mom said that she doesn't want to see me wearing this out anywhere and that she wants to see me wearing it to bed. Maybe. Um, this is also from the seller that I'm gonna put up on the screen, like right here. Go check them out. This is a slip dress and it's so cute. I just, I love it so much. And what's really upsetting about with me and slip dresses is that I need an extra small, but I could stretch it to a small and I cannot do me mediums because then it'll be like down here on me. <laughs> Unless they have adjustable straps, but it'll still be like looser on me. And I like the way that this fits on me. And then I looked under the post to see if anything was like similar, but I couldn't find anything. These next two things I got from Mercari. This is from the seller who I bought the other skirt like this from that I got in the other haul that I showed you. This is from a different seller on Mercari, this skirt. But yes, I put them up on the screen too. And the last thing that I got was from iGirl and ooh, did I spend a pretty penny. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the Scully set top. And and I don't I got it in a size extra small because the top would have been too big on me, but then the bottom would have been a good size. But I don't know, we didn't try them on yet. These could be a good size. Maybe they won't. I'll make them work. <laughs> Last thing I got was the Malice hoodie, which is actually really super soft. Feels nice. I really love the way her tags look. And then it has the two little holes there and the fur on the hood as well as the sleeve. I would suggest maybe buying one of her clothes because they are nice and ethically made. <laughs>
thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this little haul thrift haul mainly because besides the two eye girl things everything was thrifted <laughs> i'm really trying to get more into thrifting stuff because there are some good things on depop like i have a lot of stuff in my save a lot of stuff in my save and i just bought some black dicky dickies flare pants so but yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this thrift haul slash eye girl haul i ordered the scully chain so it'll go with the scully set like it's crazy anyways yeah thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video check out some other videos check out my depop because you know this stuff is gonna be sold on there check out my instagram i post some cool pictures on there i guess i've been told and yeah come back another time